Hey guys, what's up? Plantslide42 here, and I'm going to show you all how to complete Abuki's Trial 24. Given that the last two days, off and on for a couple hours here and there, I've been struggling over this thing. Um, I've gone through like all the YouTube videos too in regards to this trial. A lot of them are helpful. A lot of them say basically the same way to get it done, but even with hours of practice, you have to get the timing exactly right. <clears throat> so I'm going to try to share what I, I've discovered or my experience in getting consistent with landing the Super Hydro Cancel. Ready, go! <clears throat> okay, so first off, the crouching light kick to crouching light punch, there's a slight pause between the two. Now, <clears throat> after that, immediately stand up and immediately do a light kick. And then after that, it's basically a target combo. Um, there's a slight pause between the light kick and medium kick. Now. There's different ways to do this high jump cancel. You can do quarter circle forward, quarter circle forward, up forward, all three kicks. At the end, if you do light kick, medium kick, that's when you would input that really fast. But for me, I think that's a little inconsistent. What I like to do is the other version that is sneaking in a quarter circle forward in between the light kick and the medium kick and then doing a quarter circle forward upward basically this is Ibuki's normal jump right here what you want to do if you do it like rotating uh, quarter circle forward upward fast enough she'll make that noise you can actually do it backwards or directly straight up that's basically her super jump that's what you have to input into the combo after the standing light kick, quarter circle forward, medium kick, and then that move that I just did basically in all three kicks. Now, on the impact of that second hit right there, on the impact of the medium kick connecting, that is when you should be out of the high jump and all three kicks. The timing on this is very strict. It can be rather uh, frustrating, but I recommend not mashing at all. Try to avoid it and keep your move and motions clean as possible. Even if you don't get it, as long as you get the correct motions, it's a lot better than trying to mash out an ultra. Like I said, there's different ways to get the ultra. You can actually do a quarter circle forward up forward and then quarter circle forward all three kick and that works as well. So basically, once again, it is light kick, slight pause, light punch, and then immediate kick. And when you hit that uh, light kick, you want to do the quarter circle forward medium kick and then get ready to instantly go to the quarter circle forward upward, that thing right there. I know it's hard because you mentally want to like prepare to see that hit, but by the time you see the second hit, it's really too late. You have to feel it coming to kind of make sense. There's another thing like the little bar that races across Dan over there you can see the little lines uh, race across when the first line comes around again the second time like right above Ibuki's head right here where I'm jumping at that line marker that's about when you want to do the super high jump cancel uh, all three kicks you can actually s I'll slow down the the replay of my uh, ultra or Abuki's this trial right here. I'll just slow it down after I completed it successfully so you can actually see the lines as they're going slow motion and see when the hits are occurring. That would make more sense. But right now, let's see if I can uh, get a couple of these cancels out. He'll usually 
get the EX version if you don't get the fireball correctly. Finally, um, it's a lot faster than it looks, and it's not that the motions aren't that like tricky. It's just um, the first fireball you don't want to go too far to up forward unless you're going that route. But for my purposes, I just do a, a normal like fireball. If she had a fireball motion, it would look like that. That's her dash. Basically, we're just sneaking that in between those two things there. And we're continuing to do another uh, high jump afterward. And the timing on it is like one fluid thing. You don't really stop at any point. So you basically want to throw out that light kick and then give it a little pause and do the quarter circle forward to medium kick. Okay, there are two distinct motions, the light kick, quarter circle forward, to medium kick. It's just a, a little like rotation of the wrist, just a little from this direction, I'm using my index to kind of go down, uh, down forward, back. It's not much. It's not moving it that much. And I am using an arcade stick, so... Um... For all you controller players out there, I don't, I'm not sure if this will be that helpful. I think she dashes like that when it comes out a little too late. Or you kind of like hover your finger around the medium kick and you hit it twice by accident. Or push it too long. Maybe not. So when you bring it in close enough, you really want to flick like a down up forward kind of motion, like a sweep. You really don't want to leave it there too long, it's just a flick of the wrist. Down, down forward, and basically flicking it to the left with the uh, arcade stick. And that's once you come in. And you'll feel once you're in that moment because you'll have a split second to kind of react to that next hit. But you don't want to wait too long on that standing medium. It's like as soon as you know that you threw it out, you want to be doing that input. It's almost like a down-up activation. Like it all comes together at once. It's like the medium kick activates the ultra. If anyone was downing when the uh, jump timing is, it's right after that medium kick. See that? That's when the high jump's supposed to come out, and that's when the ultra's supposed to activate. Alright, that's probably the best example that I can output right there. Sorry that Dan's kind of in the way. There we go. So as you can see, standing light kick, 
quarter circle forward, medium kick. And basically what it felt like to me was when I got that medium kick, or I didn't even get the medium kick, but I threw it out and I felt like it was about to hit. That's when it was the second down, quarter circle forward, up forward, three kicks. I know it's very difficult, it's very fast. But if you guys keep at it, I'm sure you can duplicate that. Um, I'm one side 42, and this is the Ibuki Trial 24. Hopefully this helps a little bit. Don't give up. Keep at it. Uh, you don't need to mash too hard, like I said. They're just precise timing moves. There's actually seven button presses and two motions that you really have to worry about the quarter circle forward and the quarter circle forward up forward but they have to be done at the precise moment and without hesitation and be fluid pretty much um, the odd thing is that it's much easier doing this to the left for me than to the right like I, I don't even think I could do hard trial 24 to the right but I, I'll give it a chance <laughs> um, good luck out there <laughs> I'm going to go to the